Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Crusader Kings 2, The Merchant Prince. Um, it's time for a new guy. I'll go with my steward. He likes us well, well enough. He can be the regent. Sure. Sounds good. A mysterious Jewish man has offered his services at court. He's well versed in feudal court intrigue and things. He doesn't like us very much. And now he's dead. I'm no longer patient. The person that just showed up is dead. Died of port health already. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Alright, so, um, I spent some more money upgrading things between episodes because I tend to look around and then I find things to upgrade and then I do it. Yes, please increase prosperity. No, not in, not in Ferrara, in the other place. 183, 184 gold for prosperity in Ferrara. I mean, it's good. Sure, why not? Please don't give me a Thieves' Guild in my capital for 20 gold. Please. Please don't. Despot Simeon of Serbia has transferred the vassalage of some place. Lord Mayor, somebody else, has inherited some land. So, despite wanting to be on the council, knowing that I'm a murdering cannibal person with vicious rumors, you find me to be very impressive. Business contracts, business-focused republic, Prestige, my my book about fishing. <laughs> I hear you have a book on fishing. Yes, I do. It's very good. It's a very good book. You would like it. All right. I wanted to upgrade my my crown jewels. I also wanted to groom an heir. My son is eleven. We're still trying. Business focus seems incredibly powerful with uh, being a patrician, that city vassal opinion. And everyone, everyone likes me, even the, the people that I've imprisoned and eaten. They like, they like me when I eat them. Um. Well, I suppose you're going to go with this one. All right, let's do it. We're going to go ahead and pass down to our heir all of our things. I'm going to give you an artifact. I want you to take my crown of lilies. The queen is done with her war. Cousin, I also give you more. I want to give you my noble scepter. And I want to give you my engraved sword. My combat sword, but the engraved one. And now, we should be allowed to seek out a smith. And I'm going to hold on to all cash that we make until this is done, in hopes that we get the best one possible. Uh, I have found the most fascinating phenomenon observing the sky. I'm the finest, firmest belief that the foundation of the cosmos is hiding out there somewhere. Let me to study the skies. Nah, that can make me sick. And we already are a really high guy. Really high guy in the list of important people. The alliance between King Osman and the Queen have broken down. During the last few days, I have overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through Venice, and my courtiers are prattling excitedly about his work. Perhaps I should invite this man and employ his services. Yes, that's exactly why I want him to be here. The goldsmith, Galasso, courteously accepted my invitation and arrived at court a mere week later. He has presented me with some sketches of his previous work and several letters of recommendation. I am assured of his skill, although I ask myself just how much money I can spare for a set of crown jewels. Of course, we want to spend the 500 gold. Of course, but of course. And then a little bit of a nest egg in case any nasty bad events happen after this. Recently noticed the pitiful state of my son. Off the court physician, please. The ugly one. Cool. Uh, during the afternoon, as I went to check on the progress of Master Gas G Galasso, I walked in to see him getting my son Jacobo to help with the forging process. My son, the 12-year-old. The ugly one, in fact. Well, he's got the flu, so it's a perfect time to be working in a forge, right? Uh, not exactly what I'm paying him for, but a form of service nonetheless. 
So we're supposed to say Galasso's job is not for forging, is not to be forging for me, not is to be forging for me, not playing with children. Five percent chance to produce a superior piece of work. I'm just gonna go with this one. Let that kid be brawny. Five percent chance doesn't seem like it's worth it. Write a new theorem paper. Eh, whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep has been built in Palestrina. You and Queen Lombardi, sorry, you and Queen Appa of Lombardi aren't exactly in the best of terms. You'll use diplomacy to talk her down so that we don't have to lose a trade post. She's upset about something and it's annoying. So we own a trade post, probably the one in Veglia, and she's trying to burn it down because she's a bitch. At age 38, your acquaintance Baron was burnt at the stake. Dude, this woman, I swear, she is just obsessed with fire. My wife is pregnant. Wonderful news. We can declare in two years. All right. Galasso has kept me up to date on the progress of the crown jewelry. I knew they were nearing completion, but when the heavy box was brought to me today, I was momentarily breathless with excitement. Cool. Let's go check them out. We have a Ruby Scepter, quality 2. Yep, slight upgrade, so a little bit more opinion from people. We have a Golden Sword, also quality 2. And we have our Crown of Pearls, also level 2. So, 500 gold, basically just to get, like, a little bit more opinion with everybody. Uh, Lord Mayor Filippo today announced his marriage to a woman belonging to one of Venezia's smaller and less noteworthy burger families. Alright, cousin. Congratulations. Some lowborn woman. Cool. Alright, so all of our equipment is properly equipped, yes? Looks like yes. We've got our armor, we've got our weapon, we've got our things that are all level 2, which is the highest we can get at our current tier. We've got a couple things of quality 4. Some of the magnum opuses are a little bit weaker, but, uh... And of course we have the emerald tablet, which is nice. I'm sure at this point we're gonna start losing stuff every time we die, because... That's just how the, the game works, you know? The more you have, the more likely you are to see at least one fall. Queen Appa of Lombardy has declared the Lombard Papal de Jure War over Piam Piambino. Lombardy is actually attacking the Pope. Uh, can I request to have her excommunicated? Target controls more cardinals than you. Well, why don't you just excommunicate her, excommunicate her yourself, Pope man? I'm sure you don't like her. Uh, let's see, is it D? Avia, Queen Appa of Lombardy. Opinion of Alexander is negative 40. Pope's opinion of her is negative 16. She's got cancer and the lover's pox. And she's a drunk. How disgusting. I do not like the idea that England is going to merge with Lombardy, which is also Bavaria. Like, stop consolidating land. There it is. There's the excommunication. All right, so we don't want to lose that and be a truce breaker, but with excommunicated ruler, forget what we get. Basically, we just force her to abdicate. That's not good enough. We lack a university in An Ancona. Need to build them. I was looking at technology spread and we're actually getting a lot of points right now. 0. 0.34 points from buildings so far. Really it's only economic points that I'm getting. The other ones I haven't had the opportunity to start building up yet. Soon, I think the hospitals start giving us some points. Yes, the medical academy will give us a little bit of, ever, of everything. It just requires uh, separated wards three, which is here. 
which requires construction to be at level 4. We have twins. Two of them. <laughs> That's neat. Uh, twin twin daughters. Y you could have given me twin boys. This woman is producing nothing but filthy little dirt. Damn girls. Ugh. Imagine what we could do with twin boys. City Holding has finished construction in Sarkel. It's just a pop-up because of the special interest that I have. Okay. okay uh, any more locations that could build universities? This requires town infrastructure to be ranked up. I'm sure there's still more city upgrades to be done over here. On the newest cities. City walls, city fortifications, more ports, town markets. I'd like to get something being built over here, too. Even if it's inland, it's like the only other place I'm allowed to build right now. So, seems like a good spot to dump some cash. At some point. Making 1,400 ducats a year now. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Private shipyard is complete. That means we're on to the final and last upgrade possible for our householding. And all that it gives us is another bunch of galleys. Whatever. Let's just do it. We're done. We're done building in that holding. So we're going to have quite a few ships, actually. Lord Mayor Filippo has declared the Aquilian Lombard excommunication war on Queen Appa of Lombardy. Awesome. So, hopefully she's weak. Is that why you're doing this? She's at war with one of my subjects, I believe. She's the attacker, and she is winning her war. She's a defender against Lord Mayor of Filippo of Aquila. My cousin, with 2,300 troops, thinks he can beat her. Interesting. My cousin, do you have, like, a lot of money? No. What makes you think you can beat her? I mean, I'm all for excommunicating her, especially if it's timed right after my truce expires and I seize another province from her. I just want to keep on taking on this, this coastline. It might not be the most economic or strategic way of doing it, but it does look the prettiest. For sure. Appa has received a beautiful new head of saint. Oh. Okay. It's a head of saint. Ahead of it. Wife is pregnant again. Cross your fingers. Pope Alexander has accepted the peace offer. She's usurped the county. But she's also, like, permanently pissed that person off. Making her excommunication definitely permanent. Like, there's no way he's going to lift the excommunication. Meanwhile, we're just raking in the ducats. But she's she's definitely going to win. The Mecklenburgian War for Bozena's claim. More importantly, our truce is up in April. So, uh, I wonder, what should we declare for against her? Try to take Veglia, although that's not as pretty as taking Istria. I'll just take Istria. Just keep taking the coastline, even though it's owned by the Faliero dynasty. Um, I don't actually want... No. No, I... Yeah, I don't, I don't own that city. I have the trade post there, but I don't own the city myself. 
Oh, we don't actually own any city in Istria yet, so it would just be a city war. Hmm. Would I rather gain two holdings that are not cities, or would I rather gain a city? Probably the city. Although I really like it when you see an actual tangible change to the map when you do a war. Taking a city doesn't really look like you've done anything. Alright, so we want to take the city of Trieste. And we want to do it as fast as possible so that we can hopefully time it with somebody winning the excommunication war. And if they do that, then we will be able to immediately declare another war after that. Darn it. Still have a siege leader? Ew. Okay, about two equally sized armies. We'll siege on the war goal. Um, I mean, this war is going to be very, very straightforward. That is her army, so... Hey, oh my god, it's a son! And it's twins! Two of them! It's like she was listening to me. Man, this woman is... Uh, oh, and one of them is a genius. Wonderful. Uh, finally, it's about damn time. Um, That's awesome. Good job, woman. She's, uh, yeah, she's she's rather capable of making babies. I'm, I'm happy to see this. Alright, the woman has called in no allies, and she should still only have a relatively small levy. Nowhere near strong enough to actually stop either of my two stacks. So we'll knock down both of the holdings, we'll re-raise the ships, pick these guys up, send them back over to her capital. Go for, like, Cremona, that whole deal. And maybe we'll just go for a quick fight there so we can actually win the war sooner. I don't know that anyone's actually attacking her that could theoretically beat her, but... Ask for some money. I think we're done sieging here. Yes. What is there to siege here? That barony? Okay. Well, I don't want to damage my own lands if I can avoid it. Here, we are still working on the city and the bishopric, and this other thing. He joined my war! My letter could have gotten lost in any number of ways, truthfully, sometimes I wish it would. The shame of asking... The shame of having to ask a friend helped not on me until I got his response. Oh, I asked you to give me money, though. I didn't even know I had a friend. Why am I... Why, why do I have friends? Why do these people like me so much? Okay, ticking war score is a yes. We'll just keep on moving over. We could go for the battle. Um, of course, the, the Basilius surrendered. There's still a chance that she might surrender if she just sees that we're kicking her butt. But, um... 
supply is very high here. Let's park the whole army there, and then we'll just march over and smash that thing. We do not have a siege leader appointed here. Look at that. Outnumbered siege tech difference. 1.238 multiplier. Alright. And finally we have a bishopric which will fall in two ticks. Might as well do that. And there's the surrender. Cool. We accept. Thank you. And let's get back. And that means we have a new city here. Owned by the other guy, which is totally fine. I mean, honestly, at this point, we're strong enough now, I think we can probably afford to have patricians that are slightly strong, too. It's always nice to have subjects that are capable of doing stuff on their own. And I'm gonna start hiring regular skirmish retinues. I'm just... I don't even care to, uh... to mess with... pikemen ones. I'm almost tempted to just get rid of the current ones, but that'd be a waste of money. All right, cool. I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode, as always. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you next time. See you soon.